your boy DC of D1 Highlights. Just wrapped up a great first Metro game of Pearl Cone versus Hillsboro. Got big Will Griffin here with yes, us. Sir. Just finished, finished up the game. Will, talk a little bit about this game. How was it uh, tonight? Ooh, you can tell we was, knocking the, we was knocking the rust off. You can tell there's still a lot of work got to be done on both sides of the ball from both teams. We both got a hard fought fight. That's one thing I said going to have time to Jalen. I said, you giving us a hell of a game and we giving y'all a hell of a game. So that's something I say that we can, y'all, that's something people just can't say we ain't come out here and give out all our heart. Because there's a lot of things. It was hard to get prepared so fast, but we came out here and tried our best. That's the only thing you can ask for. Absolutely. Uh, what would you consider to be the true identity of this senior heavy team? You were just mentioned a few minutes ago before we get on camera yes, about playing together. What's your true identity about this, this team? I think we are brothers because outside of football, we all love each other. We take care of all the young kids. That's one thing I said as this senior group. We all make sure our underclassmen were felt way better than what we did at Pearl Cone. We made sure they experience was way 10 times better than us. We came up with Big E's and Jaden Harrison. So we was getting destroyed in practice. And now we teaching them like, hey, everybody got to wait their turn and let's wait their turn to see what happened. A couple of them got in, made a few big plays, <laughs> came in, holded their ground against varsity players. And that's something we can ask. That's something we can just ask for a senior group because we so heavy. We just ask for our juniors and sophomores to come up, step up, saying what we did when we was younger. Cause that's telling them that's how we got so far. So that's the only thing we just want them to do. Zero, zero, pretty much the whole game. Yeah. What would you consider consider to be the turning point in the game in your eye? In my eye, over time, it seems who's going to dig deeper in their heart. I think if anybody, I think we got most heart in the city from any team in the, in the, in the Davidson County area, probably Tennessee, I say. That's one thing. We got it rough over here. A lot of people just can say they, they live in they school in the worst area code. They sometimes got to stop press because of violence going on. We real life get it hard over here. So we know when it come down to it, when it get down and grimy, like grimy, you got to put it all out there. And that's what we do every time. All right. I got two more questions for you. How would you describe your performance individually and tonight being the first game getting out here, getting it in? Who I could have did a lot better, way a lot better. I missed a few, missed a few blocks, but I tried my best. I, you can tell today I ain't been so low on on how long my knees hurting, but I think I did a pretty good job. I made sure I caused having on defense. I always try to, I tried to press the quarterback as much as I could and just be a leader. Try to keep everybody up because that's the only thing you can do from the sideline. There's no stand, so we gotta have our own mental prep. So just trying to keep everybody head up, like, hey, just keep, just keep going. I know it's zero zero. We've been in this situation before. Let's just keep fighting. That's, that's one. That's one thing I noticed about you. I, I, I liked about you as I was watching you on the sidelines, watching your leadership on the field on the sidelines, helping one of your fallen bro brothers off of the off the field once he got hurt. My last one for you, where do you guys go from here? Uh, we go from here, we go back to practice. We got we to gotta get some things right. We got to touch up a few things. There's, there's a lot of injuries today because it was so much of us. We haven't, hit, we haven't hit nobody in a long time. Hitting each other, we don't just take it all out on each other. So we can't just say we're going 100. We, go, we try to go 100% in practice, but in, it's practice. You can't just go 100%. So I think from this on, this can show us a lot. This is our first time having film and what we, can, what we can change up and what we can perfect, what we can do to get back to the Pearl Cone way. All right, y'all, we're going to wrap it up out here at Pearl Cone, 14-7, to 7, Big Wheel mm -hmm. Griffin, UT commit. Looking forward to watching the rest of this season. Appreciate yes, it, Will. Thank you.